What's up, internet? Negativity is popular on the internet, and you can chase views by trying to make mountains out of mole hills. The worst YouTuber ever! And send! Cell phone X is 2 millimeters larger than its rival, and you couldn't pay me to use it. Uso ang nega. But that's not our channel. Here at Hardware Sugar, we try to focus on the positives. And we genuinely try to see the effort that the brand and engineers have poured into their product. We go out of our way to suggest use cases that maybe this product isn't good for this person, but for this other person with a different use, then the product would be okay. So we don't take this lightly, but this is our very very first do not buy recommendation and it goes to MSI's Core Liquid 240R AIO. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com you know, the Core Liquid, initially it looks good. Aesthetically, the CPU block rotates, the MSI Dragon, you know, looks good in RGB. Performance is also not bad. Temperatures are what you would expect from a mid-range, well-priced AIO. Where it fails utterly is reliability. We bought a total of 14 of these AIOs, sold all of them, and seven of them have come back because the AIOs just aren't cooling. As an example, we had a customer report that her CPU was at 5% load and her temperature was 91 degrees. Other customers had CPUs shutting down on them because of overheating. One customer returned his entire rig that he bought from us because he was just so fed up with the overheating problem. The Core Liquid 240Rs were just not doing their job. 50% failure rate so far, and that rate could go higher as more people might return the AIO, but even that failure rate is just unacceptable. Granted, 14 is a relatively small sample size, but we have sold more AIOs from other brands, and none of them have had this problem on this scale. This is the only AIO we've experienced with this high a fail rate. And 7 are just the ones that we sold and came back to us. We've also seen Core Liquid 240Rs bought from other stores, and then the customer comes to us to ask us to diagnose why their CPU temps are so high. The Core Liquids last for around 6 or 7 months and then from there failure is a distinct possibility why are they failing to be honest we don't have the technical know-how to answer that but this AIO is of the more uncommon design that the pump is in the radiator rather than in the CPU block could this be causing the failure maybe honestly we can't say for sure but the pump and rad design does set the core liquid 240R apart from most of the other AIOs that we sell if you know our shop you know that we take warranty seriously so when a customer comes back to us with a busted Core Liquid 240R, we replace it with a brand new one. Or at the customer's request, we replace it with an entirely different CPU cooler. Still too early to tell if the replacement new ones that we've installed will fail as well. You have failed me for the last time. We have stopped buying the Liquid 240R. In fact, we stopped buying them even before all of these problems came out. We have stopped selling them because we do have extra of these AIOs because some customers opt to just get a different CPU cooler. To be fair to our distributor, after some initial hesitation, they've replaced all of the Core Liquid 240Rs that we've sent back to them. Again, we don't like being negative, but the Core Liquid 240Rs failure rate is just unacceptable. Don't buy it, it's a lemon. If you have already bought it, do monitor your CPU temperatures and if you're seeing high temperatures even on little or no load, then it's a good bet that your AIO has failed and don't use your computer until you replace that AIO with a CPU cooler that works. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. Dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.